Good morning, guys. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. A very early morning prayer. Um, I wasn't really sure why I was being awakened this early. Uh, I thought it was my wife because she sometimes she wakes up in the middle of the night and she touches my head or touches my shoulder. And uh, it tends to wake me up because I'm very sensitive to those kinds of things. Um, but then here just a few minutes ago, or just about 20 minutes ago, a uh, wackadoodle Samoan put up a video and I started watching it and as he was unfolding I was like whoa hold on a second that's weird um, I have posted his video in the community tab uh, go watch that video I'm going to elaborate on it later and do a support video for his because well go watch it uh, I won't say anything more here, but wow. And I did just a little bit of digging into it. Um, if I don't fall back to sleep, I'm going to try to do some more digging into that and get you guys some more information and share that and elaborate on that a little deeper. But wow, that was... <sighs> Once you watch it, you're, it'll dawn on you what, what's going on. It's like, oh. And then you go read... Um, Numbers 28, no, not Numbers 28, uh, Revelation 12, and read about the timing in there. And it's like, well, <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty eye-opening, uh, but it could be giving us a very clear indicator on a certain date we've been watching for. But this morning, we're going to pray Psalm 50. Uh, we're going to give glory to God. Um, I was actually doing some other research before I started this video and I was in Numbers 28 and I found something in there and kind of jumped out at me uh, but I got to dig into it a little more something that actually pertains to my ministry that I've been doing and why I was led to do morning and evening prayer the way I was uh, I still got to dig into it a little more and see if see if it matches but it sure sounds like it it kind of struck me but we'll, we'll talk about that later we'll elaborate on that later um Let's give us some morning prayer. And I picked Psalm 50 because we have we have people going out of their way to deny God, to, to turn away from the truth, to mock the truth. I stopped going to my church because of it. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I don't have any hatred towards anybody. I just... If I'm not going to be received there, the message I was given is going to be received. Why would I do that? Um, so I moved away and, and full force into this. But God is the righteous judge, just like the title says here. Not that it, he's the righteous judge for destruction or for revenge or anything like that. Is that he judges rightly. And that's a misconception people have put on God, that uh, he's a fire and brimstone God. He's not. I've talked about this in several videos. He's not a fire and brimstone God. But he judges people righteously according to what they choose and according to their decisions. There's a lot of people who make the willful decision to deny God. And there's a judgment for that. And they don't realize just how dire that judgment is. And Psalm 50 talks about that. And you know what? I praise him for that because if I didn't have him as my righteous judge, I wouldn't have anything. Who else can I rely on to judge me righteously? So let's get into some prayer and some glorifying of God. Um, what else are we going to do this early in the morning? <laughs> Might as well get up and glorify God because I know he likes it. He really like, he likes the midnight glorifying. He likes early morning, um, you know late evening, anytime. Uh, and it feels good to do it, and it's a real blessing to do it. Like I did, said an evening prayer, uh, my best friend I've known for almost 20 years, uh, he called me yesterday just to, just to tell me that I watched your morning prayer, and that really set me up for the day. That's, that's perfect. That's exactly what it was intended to do. And that's what this morning prayer is going to be intended to do. And what this prayer is going to do is it's going to instill in you an understanding that God will not judge unrighteously. He won't be unfair. He'll be fair about everything. To the godly and even the ungodly, he's going to be fair to them. And that's why we put our full faith and trust in him for everything. And believe and walk in, in his 
light. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ to give you praise and honor, to glorify you in this prayer, in this ministry, in our walk, in every way that we can, to thank you for your righteous judgment, to thank you for your guidance, your truth, for choosing us, for working with us, for dealing bountifully with us, for chastising us when we make a mistake to get us back on track, showing us all these secrets that are hidden in the Word, showing us all these amazing revelations. Uh, we just had several this morning. How amazing is it that all of this stuff is coming out now and most people won't receive it? They won't even look. They won't listen. We try to talk to them and they just in one ear and out the other. Then they mock us and make fun of us. But Father, we know what's going on. We're watching. We're paying attention. And we know that you are with us. We know that you are watching out for us. That you are on our side. And we're going to give you glory this morning by praying this Psalm 50 to you. You are the righteous judge. We love you because of your righteous judgment. We love you and we trust in your righteous judgment. Because without it, we have no chance. The Mighty One. God the Lord has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous all around him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me, by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all of the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine in all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God thanksgiving, and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked, God says, what right have you to declare my statutes, or take my covenant in your mouth? seeing you hate instruction, and cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you consented with him, and have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept silent. You thought that I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you, and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoever offers praise glorifies me, and to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God. And Father, amen. And that's what we're doing here. I'm starting to realize more, Father, why you pushed me to do these morning and evening prayers. I'm starting to understand more and more of what the real sacrifices are that you desire that you want and it's sacrifice of praise of thanksgiving of prayer when i read numbers 28 earlier and the revelation hit me i couldn't believe it because it struck me as a shadow of what we're doing here father help me to understand fully what's going on and what you desire and what you're leading us to. That I may share it with the brothers and sisters and edify them. Because the revelations you gave me this morning are incredible. Help us all to walk in truth. Help us all to walk and according to your desires. Your real desires. Not what man has invented and taught us and deceived everybody with. Telling us that you're looking to destroy everyone for any reason. And we know that's not true. You are a loving God. 
help us to know you, to know your personality, to know who you are. Help us to walk in strength, to be rooted in truth, and to desire the things that you desire. Justice, faith, hope, love. Pour those things out into our hearts full measure, Father. That we may walk in them and we may show those same qualities to our brothers and sisters and to our fellow man in the world. It's just, it's, the world's coming apart. It's a strange place to live. But Father, you have chosen us to be saved, to be awake, to see what's happening, and to be able to stand and proclaim this to the world. Whether they listen or not, we're proclaiming it. Thank you for choosing us for this. Thank you for picking us out of every walk of society to stand up and to do exactly what we're doing right now. In Jesus' name we give thanks and we praise you. And we, we thank you for the love and mercy and the grace. We praise you for your justice, for your kindness, for your mercy and your love. We glorify you and we honor you because you are God. Period. You are, you are God. There is no other God. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. I've got more to share with you later. Um, pretty interesting stuff. And a lot of it is, some of it is actually mentioned in this psalm. That I hadn't caught, first of all. So we'll get back to that tomorrow or later on. We'll get deeper into this, and I'll show you the revelation that I had found because I need to look up a couple of things. But I'll definitely share that stuff with you guys uh, because, uh, yeah, pretty interesting, pretty eye-opening. So anyway, love you guys. Hope you have a great morning. I'll see you in a little while. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.